Yo, what up, what up? Y'all already know who it is, and I'm back with another video. Sorry about it taking so long to make another one. I don't know what I was doing. I guess I was just busy with something, but... Um... Hope you all having a good day, good night, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're from. Wherever you're watching this from. Good day, you know, all that good stuff. Now... Now, this is the expectations on infin Infinite... Ah, oh, God infinite warfare part two now after watching the trailer i can honestly say my expectations for it is somewhat a little higher i kind of was liking what i was seeing other than like i noticed how it's not gonna be just on earth so it is gonna be jetpacks that's guaranteed in the game but it looks more ground based so that's good for me you know because i've been waiting for a call of duty that's ground based for a, a good minute until ghost 2 come out i don't think we're gonna get that for real like ghost 2 that's gonna be ground based all the way i'm positive about that but yeah anyway about that expectations on that infinite warfare uh it got a little higher i was liking what i was seeing other than i know for a fact that kill streak with that little um robot spider or whatever that was that's gonna be a kill streak for sure and it's probably gonna be like a replacement for the RCXD or the HCXD. You know, the car that blow up, you know, you can drive that bitch around and blow it up. Yeah, it's more, it's more than likely gonna be a, a replacement for that. I'm not too happy about that because I hate that damn kill streak. It's, it's designed for like just no skill at all. Easy kill. I don't like that kill streak at all. I never, I never used it unless I stole it in the care package or something. Other than that, I noticed that. I noticed the little Super Saiyan God bullets or whatever. For the anime fans, Super Saiyan God, you know, the blue hair and all that. I noticed those blue bullets. Uh, I don't think it's like more plasma guns. I just think they changed the bullet color blue. I don't know why. I'm cool with the original bullet colors. <clears throat> you know, like a real war. Um, what else did I notice? Yeah, I mean, the blue bullet's not that much of a big deal to me, but... Yeah, I'd rather just have the old ones. I know they got... They gotta have the old ones. I don't know what type of customizations they gonna have on the guns, but... I'm waiting to see. I'm waiting to see the multiplayer and all of that. If my talking is a little off, sorry, I just woke up, like... Like, really just woke up. Only thing I did was go to the bathroom and get something to drink. So, excuse my talking if it's a little messed up. But the blue bullets, I noticed um, the robot Ethan. I noticed he was heading, he was like in front of the squad, like leading them in a way, but he wasn't the leader. I'm guessing that's just for like if enemies in the way, like up front, one of the men don't die, the robot can just get shot and take it. Or you know anything like that like that I also noticed how when he was ducked behind the crate Reyes I believe his name was I forgot I believe he was ducked, ducked around the crate and he had like this little device on his arm where you can see the people through it I'm guessing that's gonna be like one of the newer features like the streaks if somebody's ducking behind something you can just, you know, tap on your arm or whatever. Have them glow up orange like you see in the trailer. If you haven't seen the trailer or the gameplay, go check it out on Call of Duty's page. But yeah, I believe it's going to be like like that instead of, you know, all the hail storms and, uh, and stuff like that. I believe that's how the, um, the gun-based kill streaks are going to be now. Like the chopper gunner and stuff. What else have I noticed? Oh yeah, I like that cool new um, that sight they have, like the red dot sight that lock on to the enemies. Those little circles they have, I like that sight. That's, I mean, it's not all bad. At the same time, it's like no skill because it's kind of automatic lock, and that's that's kind of cheating, I, I guess. Many people can just put that on lock on to their opponent and kill them. Especially if they have that shotgun that he had. 
I don't know whose idea was it to put that site on there where it's automatic. But, you know, it's not all bad. I'm not going to complain about the game before it even come out. It's just expectations and a review on it, basically. But I noticed that. What else have I noticed? Um, that sniper that turned into an assault rifle. Now that, I believe, is going to be just dope, for real. I believe it's going to be dope. And yeah, it's, it's a sniper that turns into an assault rifle. I don't, I'm not for all that, you know, futuristic um, guns turning into another whole thing of a gun, but it looked cool. I mean, it, it looked cool. It's, I know it's going to piss me off when a lot of people use it online. I know that for sure. And that's when you just, you know, whip out the Modern Warfare and get on there and play a more ground-based game. But honestly, my expectations on Infinite Warfare, after all of that, and the space thing, I don't really like that spaceship battle. I really don't. Like, I wish they had, they had never put that in, but you know, it's whatever. But my whole expectations on Infinite Warfare, you know, it's up there. It's okay. It's decent, I would say. I can't wait to see how the game plays. I can't wait to get it. I'm a story player, so I'm going to play the story first. But anyway, that's all the time we have for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you liked, like it. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you're new. And I hope you will be back for the next video. Peace out, guys.